I'm using the binder viewer with a 14 millimeter uh, fossil celestron eyepieces. Full moon, the disc is completely visible. What I want to share with you now is that uh, moon is a black and white object, primarily. The only time we found something colorful in it was uh, when we found the famous orange soil in the Taurus Litro area when the Apollo 17 was landed there. Uh, we had a, a, a plan to go to another area which was colorful. I will show you that. The only colorful, other colorful area, which is micro uh, scale, is not just a little area like that one in the Apollo 17, is the Aristarchus Plateau. Aristarchus Plateau is the only color you can see on the moon other than black and white. You see a kind of pale greenish brown color. And that is because of the volcanic area in the Aristarchus Plateau. And that was the plan to go there in the Apollo 18. That was cancelled if Americans were not spending so much money on the wars, and especially in Vietnam and afterwards. They could have afforded actually to send the Apollo 18 to the Aristarchus Plateau, Plateau instead of cancelling it. But that's the only colorful area you see on the moon. We didn't, with even the minimum uh, aperture telescope, you can see that. I will show you some of the photos of this and just want to tell you that this is the only color, real color other than black and white you can see on the moon with any optical instrument and from the earth. Enjoy some of these pictures I've taken and that's it. Um, I'm, I'm, I must say that I'm really enjoying this uh, beautiful views through the, um, through the in a point of view, I have to think that anybody should have, especially if you have a Schmidt Cassegrain or like this um, uh, Schmidt Cassegrain, like this one, and Maxatos, like this one, or refractors. <laughs> What you see is now passing the center of the picture, hopefully, is what is called as Aristarchus Plateau. And the light is not very good, and also the clouds are closing a little bit. And you can see the color of it is different. So one of the olivine rich area, olivine is a metal that, uh, the mineral that exists in the mantle area of the planets crust mantle core if you remember these are the layers of the planets planetary bodies uh, which are made of rock or any other surface it has this kind of layering any object differentiated object gravitational So it's now passing the center, top, top of the center, above the center. And the brightest spot is the Aristarchus crater itself.